In this video, we're going to be taking a much deeper look at the sonar aspect of the ND Smart Bait Boat. So as I just said, we're going to be taking a look at the sonar aspect of the New Direction Smart Bait Boat. Now if you haven't seen the other video on this, which includes all the basic functions, setting this up, then uh, please go over and watch that one. It tells you how to use it, how to set points on your, on your lake and take it out autopilot wise and stuff. This one is going to be much more in depth on the actual sonar aspect of this because this bait boat actually has a deeper built into it. So not only can you use it as a bait boat, take your rigs out and things fully manually, you can also map out your swim, find spots much more intricately with the deeper aspect of it. So to start with, let's show how you set it up and charge things. Then we get it into the lake and see if we can find a spot. So to start with actually charging up the sonar that's inside of this. So the main compartment, if you've seen on the previous video and the whole setup of this bait boat, then you'll have seen that where the battery compartment is, which I've got just here, that slots in here, just on the side is a little USB-C port as well, which I've got right now being charged through a power pack. So pretty much everyone takes a power pack with them these days or vice versa, you can charge this up at home. The power supply for the deeper is separate to the actual bait boat supply, so it's worth remembering that, that these can be charged separately. You can have multiples of these, but the deeper needs to be charged through this USB-C port into the bait boat itself. You can check the battery level as well through the deeper app. So if any of you ever used a deeper before, you know the layout of the app. It tells you the battery supply, and uh, that way you can always make sure it's topped up. You can check it every time you use it. So let's take this power supply back off. That's been fully charged now. Put the bait boat battery back in as well that slots nice and neatly in there connect it up make it nice and snug and uh, again like i said i will reference the previous video on how setup of this i talk about how this all seals up nicely with rubber seals and things but for now i'm just going to get this set up take it over to the swim and get started because i don't need to repeat myself when you can see all of that in a previous video Remember, if you like this sort of content, then please subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, where we have regular updates. So we're now into my swim where I want to map out and kind of find any kind of features. Now, this is my syndicate. I already have a pretty good understanding of the lake bottom. It's pretty regimented out there, four or five feet all over. Quite a silty lake. Potentially the few little harder spots. So that's what I'm going to take the boat out now and see if I can find something. I've fished the swim a few times before. I've had bites from certain spots. So I'm going to take this out just to kind of firm up in my head what exactly is out there. So to start off with, I've got to turn the bait boat on and the controller. Again, if you haven't seen the other video on the whole setup of this, go back and watch that where I'll go much more in depth on setting everything up. That's now connected to the boat, but the deeper isn't yet turned on. Now, if you've ever used a deeper before, you'll know that they don't turn on until you've put it in the water and it's connected. It's got something called an inductive switch in it, and I'm not sure all the science behind that, but it senses that it's in the water and turns itself on. So despite the fact the bait boat's on right now, the deeper isn't yet. I've got the deeper app open on my phone, however, so I'm just gonna pop the bait boat in the water, get the jets all going. Perfect. Another good thing that I've also talked about in the other video is the fact that this controller it's so small, I can do everything on one joystick, leaves this hand free, so I can always have a hand free on the app and uh, get everything sorted on here. So now I need to connect. It's just currently connecting. Right, so we're now completely connected to the bait boat, and as you can see already, oh, bring it in too close, it's already 4.6 feet, but I'm gonna take it out. So I'm gonna take it over to an area where I have had fish from before, Things that I have felt around whilst out in the, the actual manned boat and felt around with a net pole. I just want to check if it is exactly how I think it is on the deeper. So let's drive it over there. As you can see, just as I thought, it's around the five foot mark, fairly silty bottom. It's all pretty much the same everywhere out here. So that's no surprise to me just yet. But I'll just take it into the bay. Starting to shelve off slightly, it's down to 5.2. Still taking it in, raising slightly. From what I remember, there should be a bit of a drop off. 
start looking at the boat. There we are, starting to drop off a bit. Take it in a bit more. A little less silt. Look at that, it's starting to drop off. And there's almost no silt whatsoever, or very, very little. That's probably what I was feeling when I was fishing in there, is it's much firmer. And on a lake that's covered in silt, that to me looks like a much cleaner area to present a rig. It's deeper as well this time of year, coming into the pretty cold. Hopefully there's some fish holding up there. So now I know exactly where that is on the deeper. Look at that, even completely clear there at one point. So I'm happy with that spot. Now I could go over onto the ND app and save the uh, spot on there, but I've shown you guys that on the other video. So for now, I'm just gonna press the CH button on the back of the remote. That opens up the channels. I'm now on channel A and then press EN. I've now saved that as point A. So if I've got the autopilot set up on the ND app, I can then use that or on here to take my rig back out there in the future and I can then drop the rig and it will save that spot for me. If you don't have the autopilot app, it's not a big issue. You still can save your spots on the app. You just then got to drive it out manually. But anyway, I've now saved that spot. So I'm going to bring the bait boat back in, put my bait and rig in there and then press point A and it will automatically take it back out to that spot, which I found on the deeper. It looks lovely. Actually bringing it back, I've just found another little dip that I remember was there. So it's found those spots points on here and extremely accurately. The bait boat will actually remember that spot and be as accurate up to 60 centimeters radius of that spot. So I know that's absolutely perfect for where I'm taking it out there. But once it's back in, I'll put some uh, bait in the hopper, a rig in there as well, set it to go to point A and uh, see if it drops exactly where I want it. So the boat has now come back to me. I did that manually, but you can also set your home point and make it come back automatically. Again, all covered in the other video. So now I'm gonna stick my rig into one of the hoppers. I can also attach that via the hook release on the back, but for this one, I'm gonna put it into the hopper. Let's just bring this all in without stabbing myself in the finger like I just did. Lift the hopper. Like so. There we go, rig's now positioned, bit of bait. Not too much, that'll do. Pop it back in the water. So we're now back in the water, fit the bay line over and hit point A, which is what I've just saved, is over there. And because I've already saved that on the app and on GPS, it takes itself out there automatically. So now I can keep my eye on the app, put my finger on the spool, give myself a better line lay without having to touch anything on the bait boat itself. Another good thing about this is that I can still have a look at the deeper, seeing what it's driving over, and I uh, can make sure that once it's got to the spot which I've preset, I can just double make sure, or triple make sure, that it's exactly where I want it to be in relation to how the, the bottom looks, where it's still on the clear area. So I don't have to multitask too much. I can control the rod, have a look at the app, boat's doing the work for me. In fact, it says it's just found some fish where it's just gone over. There we are, it's just starting to drop off, just virtually there. Almost there, there we are, it's getting onto the clear patch. Well, it looks absolutely perfect there, and it's stopped. So it's now got to the spot I want, release the hopper. There we go, my rig has now dropped exactly on that clear area. And now I can hit home, or do it manually, and bring it back to me while sorting out the rod. There you go, getting to grips with the basics pretty much of the deeper sonar aspect of the ND Smart bait boat. Now this is something you can get as a complete package from ND, but for more information on all of this, go over to their website, pick a package that suits you and the sort of all the criteria and specs that you want. And don't forget to click on the link in the description below for the previous video or the other video on this bait boat where we talk a lot more about the controller, the setup of the boat, the controls itself, the ND 
app, uh, the actual app itself for the bait boat. So please go and watch that one. And then you've got all the information you need on both the sonar side of this and using it as just a bait boat as well. But for now, make sure you uh, subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads from us and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for regular updates. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.